study about the assumptions if the total number of terms is e1 what we have to assume and the total number of uh, odd then what assumptions we have to take so let us see if the total number of term is odd if total number is term is denoted by n is odd if n is odd if n is odd then it would be like this n may be 3 5 and 7 so on the term would be total number of term would be what 3 terms are there 5 terms are there 7 terms are there in this way if n is equal to 3 what assumption we have to take the first term would be t1 we have to assume a minus d t2 we have to assume a t3 we have to assume a plus d now let us see about the common difference common difference for this is equal to t2 minus t1 we see a minus a minus d because the second term is a and the first term is a minus d now we open the bracket we will get a minus a plus d a will eliminate and we will get d so the common difference would be d so what we have to do if n is 5 n is equal to 5 5 is also odd so the first term here would be we have to subtract d from left side uh, we, i am putting in this way uh, a minus d this is a and a plus d if n is equal to 3 so what we have to do for n is equal to 5 we have to subtract d from left side and add d to the right side so we will subtract here so a minus 2d a minus d a a plus d and a plus 2d if we have n is equal to 7 what will happen again we have to subtract d from left side and add d to left side so a minus 3d a minus d oh sorry a minus 2d a minus 2d a minus d a a plus d a plus 2d and a plus 3d so in this way we can assume if n is odd we can assume that uh, terms the first term is a minus if the n is 7 the first term is a minus 3d second term is a minus 2d third term is a minus d and a a plus d a plus 2d and a plus 3d so on so now let us see if n is even if n is even even means n may be 2 4 6 8 and so on let us see what will happen if we solve this sort of problem uh, the first term here would be t1 we have to assume a minus d if n is equal to 2 if n is equal to 2 the first term would be a minus d and second term would be a plus d now we take the common difference for this the common difference t2 minus t1 sorry not in this way we have to write we'll, you can get confusion here so is equal to 
t2 minus t1 the t2 is a minus d and t1 is a plus d now we see what happened oh sorry t2 is a plus d and t1 is a minus d let us see what happened a plus d we open the bracket minus a minus minus plus d so here a will eliminate and we will get 2d so here the common difference is 2d in the if the total number of terms is odd then we have seen that the common difference is common difference is d here the common difference is 2d so this is the way we have to find it out so now we if n is equal to 4 what will happen we see here we have to again subtract this common difference at the uh, at the left side and add at the right side let us see there are two terms a minus d and a plus d so like this if there are four terms then we have to subtract 2d from left of this a minus d so a minus 3d then a minus d a plus d or a plus 3d now n is equal to 6 then what will happen again we have to subtract 2d from this left side and we have to add 2d here right side so we will get a minus 5d a minus 3d a minus d a plus d sorry a plus 2d a minus d a plus d okay a plus 3d correct so in this way we have to assume these things a minus 5d a minus 3d a minus d a plus d or a plus 3d and the last one is a plus 5d a plus 5d so the six terms are there so in this way we can assume and we have to uh, take this sort of assumption with the according to the number uh, uh, that n is a odd or even let us see some example regarding this now let us take one example for this uh, assumptions the question is that if the sum of three numbers in ap is 24 and their product is 440 find the numbers let us see in this problem uh, the total number of terms is 3 which is odd so for odd we have to take the assumptions a minus d a and a plus d so let us take the assumptions let the terms are a minus d a and a plus d as per first condition is per first condition you know that the if the sum of the three numbers in AP is 24 the sum is 24 So we have the numbers a minus d a minus d plus a plus a plus d is equal to 24 so we will get three A is equal to twenty four. So A is equal to twenty four upon three. We will get three one three three eight the twenty four. So in this way we will get A is equal to eight. Now we have to find out the D. If we get the D we will get all the three terms. What have been asked? 
in this question. So for D, as per second condition, As per second condition, they are given the product of all three terms is equal to 440. Product of all three terms is equal to 440. So we will write in this way. Therefore, the first term is a minus d, second term is a and third term is a plus d. This product is 440. For a we know that 8. So, we will put here 8 minus d 8 a. Instead of a we have to put 8. 8 8 plus d is equal to 440. So what we will do here 8 minus d into 8 plus d and this 8 we will transfer to other side so 440 upon 8 8 1's are 8 8 5's are 40 and 8 5's are 40. So we will get 55 here. Now you see a minus d and a plus d it is the formula a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square so we will get 64 minus d square is equal to 55 so you could find it easily minus d square is equal to 54 we are uh, taking 64 to other sides so we will get minus 64 here so minus d square is equal to minus 9 so we will get d square is equal to 9 so for d if we will get the square root of both the sides so plus minus 3 now we could easily put the values because we know that the terms are t1 is equal to a minus d if we take plus 3 a is equal to 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 t2 a is equal to 8 t3 8 plus 3 is equal to 11 so we will get 5, 8, 11. If we take d is equal to 3, d is equal to plus 3. If we take d is equal to minus 3, what happens? We see t1 is equal to 8 minus minus plus 3 is equal to 11. t2, 8 and t3 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 so we will get the answer in this way the answer would be like this I am putting here the answer the required terms the required numbers are 5, 8, 11 or 11, 8, 5. This would be the answer for this question.